The marine organism we're going to identify now is the porcupine fish. There are many members of the pufferfish family of fish that you can see in the tropical waters of the Atlantic and Caribbean, but the largest by far is the porcupine fish. Porcupine fish are normally one to two feet long, but can reach a length of three feet. Their bodies are largest at the head and taper down to the tail. They have very large eyes that always say their mouths are small and somewhat downturned. Porcupine fish are generally to grayish in color and many small dark spots covering their body and their pectoral fins. Their bodies are also covered with many short spines that normally lay flat against their body. But those spines are one element in their two-part defense mechanism against predation. Why do they need two different defense mechanisms? They need them because they're fairly slow and awkward swimmers. The first defense mechanism is their ability to inflate their bodies by swallowing water or air. This increases the size of their physical presence by almost double. They can get nearly round like a basketball, which makes them much more difficult for a predator to swallow. The second defense mechanism are those spines. Although normally flat against their body, so they are more streamlined for swimming, when threatened and they puff up, the spines also extend straight out from their body, increasing the appearance of their size even more and making them a prickly food item for any predator to try and bite or swallow. The primary predator of adult porcupine fish in the tropical waters are an occasional shark. Porcupine fish are primarily nocturnal feeders, spending much of the daytime hiding out in caves or under ledges on reefs. Their diet consists of primarily crustaceans, urchins, and other hard-shelled animals. Their dental work has evolved to enable them to be very efficient shell crushers. All of their teeth are fused into upper and lower crushing plates. Their large eyes help them see their prey at night. Porcupine fish generally breed once a season, there are male and female porcupine fish, although you probably have to be a porcupine fish to tell them apart. They are broadcast breeders, which means that the mating pairs swim close to each other and release their eggs and sperm into the water column. That's the porcupine fish.